Hello guys, I'm back with another tutorial of Maya 2016. So let's start the tutorial. Today I'll show you how to model a glass, wine glass and a bottle of wine using Revolve option. So let's start with importing image in front view. So I switch to front view here. I click on this icon to import my image in the viewport so it's on the desktop and this is the one so here I get the image let's switch to perspective select your image press W to move and I'll move it into minus Z axis of it all right now I switch back to front view it's just my image in the center of the grid. I'll just move a bit up. Yeah. This is almost done. Now the next step is <clears throat> make sure you switch to modeling here. And under this, you need to go to create from the top menu. And the sub menu, curve tools, and you need to grab CV curve tool. and you start making the curve so I'll start from the bottom I press X to snap in the center and as you go close you need to make this corner sharp so you need to put these points very near to it yeah and zoom out Okay, and very near you can zoom in to see the details and I finish it here in the center so to finish it you press enter on the keyboard now let's see this curve in the perspective view it looks like this now the next step is we go to surface make sure this curve is selected and we need to press revolve but before that I go to this option box dialog box and reset before you apply this option I always do that because sometimes uh, in previous files suppose I use this option and I made some changes and it can uh, behave in a different way not exactly what you want alright so no need to go uh, for the details just press revolve and you get this bottle here now from the same curve I try to create this wine glass that you see you can create a separate curve for this method is the same but I want to show you how you can make and edit uh, the curve and you can make different objects so I move this surface on the left so that I can easily select and edit my curve I go back to front view this time I select my image move glass here and try to adjust the curve but before I do that, see, if I right click on this curve and try to make some changes, I see the changes are happening in the bottle. But I don't want these changes to be done here. So I press Ctrl Z, go to object mode, select my curve and the bottle. I go to edit menu and say bleed by type history because history is connected with this curve. Now if I go and right click, Go to control vortex, try to change. I don't see any changes in the bottle. This is what I want. Now let's try to adjust the scope. Let's start from the bottom. I want my bottom to be straight. I select all these vortices, press R and scale it to make it straight. So I keep it somewhere here. Bring all these three 
what is this near very near and slowly I'll start adjusting the curve next curve you can create a new curve if you want You can zoom in for the details. Remove this point very near to it. This is very sharp on the bottom. Right. So many vertices here to use. Next, you can use arrow key up and down. Select these vertices. Select all these vertices on the top and move down here. So that it's easy to work with. Yeah, these are very near. Either you zoom in or you use arrow keys. Where I go, I need to put very near. Here, move down, somewhere here, next to it, near to this, and see we can match this. Yeah, more or less matched. This is to give thickness to the glass. Okay, more or less done. Now you know what to do next. Just go back to the object mode, select your curve, and say go to surface and say revolve. And now you are done. Thank you very much.